lot of talent, a lot of opportunity in the room right now. We all know that. But the one message that I want to say first is this, is that I hope that everybody in here is grateful. Not entitled, but grateful. I would argue that there's not a person in here, as much talent as there is, that has gotten into this seat on your own. And you may be thinking, I've worked really hard and I've done, I'm, gonna, I'm a hyena and I'm going to do everything I can. You're not in the seat that you're in right now because of what you've done. Someone drove you, someone paid the money, someone got you to go to school as a young man. I know this, you can take it all the way down, that you, you did not knit yourself in your mother's womb. And when you think about it, we all should be grateful for the opportunities that we have. And everybody in here is blessed. And so I want to challenge you, maybe even before the day is over, to find someone who you know as you know as you know has helped you become who you are and thank you. You know, uh, Coach Babers talked about uh, telling people that you love them. I think that was awesome. Find somebody and say thank you. Thank you for helping me get to where I am today. Folks who are entitled and think that they deserve things are not fun or attractive to be around. People who are grateful attract people and they're fun to be around. All right, as you guys are going through the day today and uh, listen to these great speakers, I want to say one more thing and I want to talk a little bit about leadership. So much of the messaging is about being great and being your absolute best. And I'm going to tell you something. I wholeheartedly endorse that. Every guy in here, one of our purposes on life is to be the absolute best that we can be. We're all uniquely and wonderfully made. And part of life is being everything that we were meant to be. 